Welcome to the University of Missouri's foremost dairy research center. Um, we're here uh, in Midway, Missouri, uh, kind of touring the farm today here at Foremost. We thought a good place to start would, would be with the baby calves and calf management. Uh, as you can see, we move all of our calves to individual hutches to be raised. Uh, we house them in the hutches for about two months. They're fed uh, a commercial milk replacer twice a day. Uh, also in the hutch, they have access to feed, water, and, and hay is available uh, as soon as they feel the need to start eating those things. Calf hutch environment provides a individual setting for the calves to minimize disease uh, passed from calf to calf. Weather conditions, obviously they're protected from the rain, wind, snow. Management of the hutches really comes down to keeping them uh, fairly dry, keeping them well bedded, and the calves do exceptionally well. You can see by this calf, uh, calves are identified at birth with a herd tag um, through the Holstein Association or Guernsey Association. Um, and at registration time, the associations will send us a duplicate tag to this with some other information about the calf, where it provides birth date, sire, dam number. So when we see a calf out in the pasture, uh, we, we can relate it to the cow family that, that we're looking at. Um, calves are raised in a hutch, as, as I mentioned, for about two months. Uh, at two months of age, they're vaccinated, and then we wean them. Uh, so we, we remove the bottle feeding from them. We'll leave them in the hutch for about five to seven days at weaning, just to kind of get them over that stress of no bottle anymore. and. At that point, once they've kind of settled and realized that a bottle isn't coming to them anymore and they're drinking plenty of water out of a bucket, then they're going to be moved to some group housing uh, situation where, or super domes where we keep about seven calves as a group together for the next two months. This is an example of uh, our super dome pasture. Uh, we will still offer some dry hay and, and grain to the calves. Uh, while they're in the superdomes, still provide a lean-to type of shelter for each of the calves. Uh, once again, keeping them bedded and dry, it really is the key to, to raising a healthy calf. The calves will stay in the superdomes for two to three months after, after they're weaned, and at about five to six months old, they're uh, calf hood vaccinated, and then they're moved into groups of 20 to 30 calves within their, their particular age structure.